talking about the U.S. dollars, Japanese yen trade. U.S. dollar, Japanese yen trade uh, that we put on here at $95.24. No? This trade is looking absolutely fantastic, isn't it? We hit the first profit objective right up in here. Boom. Now, if you recall, we went long right down in here at 95.24. Right as, right as it took out the low, uh, the high of that inside vertical bar, we went long. Long at 95.24. Okay, the initial risk on this trade was 94.05. Right? Risking about 119 ticks. Then we moved it yesterday in 94.40. Okay? <clears throat> but look at the market went up to our first profit target of 97. 45. Great, great trade. It's 221 pips on the first profit target, right? 221 pips. That's a, that's a, that's kind of like a home run trade there. We weren't risking a whole lot. I mean, this, starting off this trade, our risk to reward or reward to risk, whatever you want to call it, was was over two to one. Okay, almost two and a half to one. We hit our first objective there. Okay. As you can see, I drew the fibs right from this high down to this low. This entire swing down to come up with our objective. So the 38.2, right, was our first objective of 97.45. Our second profit objective, and then I'll be done with the trade. Now, again, I'm, I'm going out of town on Monday, so I won't be here. So I'm going to be closing this trade out regardless. But I'll give it some more time. 98, I'm going to go a few pips below 98.71. I'm going to go 98. 98.65 will be the last profit objective on this. Okay, 98.65. All right, 98.65, we've already run up to 98.27, so we're not quite there. I'm going to bring up my stop now, and I'm locking in profits here, okay? Let me show you exactly where I'm going to lock in profits here. Remember, I'm long at 95.24. I'm going to bring it up 200 pips from my entry. So I am actually going to have my trailing stop, let's see, at 97.24. 97.24 will be slightly below here. Let me see. Second profit objective is right here, 98.65. Right there, 98.65. My trailing stop now is 90. What did I say? Two two hundred up ninety seven twenty four is going to be right there. Ninety seven twenty four. Give it a little room. We're trading right now at ninety eight, so that's where we're at. So trailing stop is at ninety seven twenty four, right? And we're locking in two hundred pips. So regardless what this market does, it doesn't matter. This is a home run trade. We kind of knocked this one out of the park. Okay. Let's go to our TBT trade. Now, again, remember yesterday, look, look at this. Yesterday, Bernanke talked about interest rates and he's easing, so it doesn't look like he's going to flush as much money into the economy. Interest rates are starting to make that move, folks. Okay? They're starting to move up, which means TBT is going up. This has been a long-term play for a long, long time for me. As you recall, a couple months ago, I got knocked out made money on that because I've been holding it for a long time. And then I re-entered last week. I re-entered on this drop down to this level, and I entered as it took out these yearly highs, put in a little bit, average price being right down in here where I'm drawing the red horizontal line. The market is up, okay? So that's looking like a, a, a really good trade. Finally starting to really come to fruition on this. So again, we are trading above uh, the last 365-day high, which is right here, so that is positive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw. Let's see, we've got our fibs. Let's see, let's redraw this swing here. So essentially, what I'm doing here, <clears throat> excuse me, I drew from this low. Right, remember, it retested this low, failed, bounced up. Should have been a buyer down in here, but I wasn't. Wasn't play, paying close enough attention. My bad there. <clears throat> so I measured this big swing, and then I measured from this little aberration low here to high, 
And uh, yeah, I, I am full. I'm really expecting this high right in here now to act as support because now it's really been broken to the upside. So I would look to add to this position even more at about 68.75. Okay, now let's go. Now those are two really good trades that I pointed out. Now let's go to the bad trade. I was stopped out yesterday. Now I got a, I got an email from somebody saying, "Hey Todd, why didn't you, why didn't you sell some calls on this rally?" Now remember, we were long up in here at forty dollars and sixty cents. The market surprised us and actually opened up lower on Monday morning, but. Since it was next to that 200 exponential moving average, I wasn't about to stop myself out. As the market, and the reason I did, look at this gentleman who, who emailed me and asked me that, 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 was, that was a great question. And actually, I did sell some calls, but I didn't mention it because I assume that a lot of you maybe don't understand that. And plus, based on most of my videos, I don't really mention options. Doc is the option king, so I, typically, I, I leave it to him to, to talk about that. So that's why I didn't mention it. But in fact, I did sell some calls, but that doesn't that doesn't negate the fact that I still, you know, lost on the stock. So <clears throat> I actually had a sell stop yesterday below Monday's low. So I did keep it down that low and I got stopped out. Okay? Full disclosure, full honesty. Yesterday, uh, Monday's low rather was 3845. I stopped myself out of this actual directional stock play. At 38.35, so I lost two dollars. Okay, let's two dollars and twenty-five cents, right? Because I was long at forty dollars and sixty cents. Forty dollars and sixty cents. Stopped myself out. Had a sell stop, resting sell stop at 38.35. Okay, lost two dollars and twenty-five cents. Let me outline this. But I actually did pick up. Uh, let's see. Let me draw this out. So the actual long play, $40.60, lost $2.25 on the actual stock play itself, okay? I did saw, sell calls, and I picked up some premium there. So I didn't lose the full amount of $2.25, okay? So again, hope that helps. Uh, let's just go back real quick. The Japanese yen trade's looking really, really good. Locking in 200 pips on the remaining portion of the position, all right, and the first profit target, okay, made 221 pips, not bad. TBT starting to finally move, really starting to make a little bit money here. And then, of course, ARMH, we took a loss, but we did, it wasn't as bad as it looks because I did sell some calls on, on that rally. All right, hope that helps. Be back with you tomorrow, my friend.